Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and this is your first of four fan-requested Friday matchups. Sergio Oliva Jr., 2020, Arnold's Classics, versus Nathan Diasha, 2018, Mr. Olympia. Now, this was a request made before the incident. And if you don't believe me, go back and look at last week's very first fan-requested Friday matchup, and you can hit comments Go to the newest, newest first, and scroll down to the very first comment, the oldest comment. And this was a, it was a Nathan Diasha request. No fooling. And you know what, guys? For Out of respect for Nathan Diasha, I'm actually going to do a bunch of Nathan Diasha matchups this week. And hey, it might take my views down, but if it helps out, get Nathan Diasha's name out there. Because you know the media is not going to... Didn't do anything about it. If I can help, then I'm going to. Nathan Diasha, his physique, fantastic. He's a big dude. And so is Sergio Oliva Jr. Sergio's taller, but um, I hate to call myself an expert, but I'm good at sizing these guys. And Sergio Oliva Jr., he does not stand on the stage as tall as he really is. I think he's over six feet tall. But he compares... Size-wise, very good against a guy like Nathan Diasha, who's probably 5 feet 10. I mean, look at the legs. You can see he's bending at the knees. He's 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 maximizing his thickness, is Sergio Oliva. I mean, a very tall guy like this, he can stand to, to bend down a little bit. But anyway, guys, I had to get that explanation out of the way. And we've talked through the pose, in which I would give this one to Nathan Diasha. He's winning in the limbs, legs, upper body, arms... Small little tiny waist. Let's go to the front lat spread. And Nathan Diasha, again, I think he's winning this one. Muscle for muscle, his lats, a little bit more Dorian-esque. But these guys are along the same lines. Their structures, I mean, these guys would be doing battle for sure. I think Nathan, I think he's got a better set of legs. I think his muscle separation is better. I think his waistline is all that much smaller, which is funny because... You know, Sergio's dad, one of the smallest waistlines of all time, lag-to-waist ratio, and it appears Nathan, as far as the lag-to-waist ratio, is defeating Sergio. Look at the pecs on Nathan. Go to the first, the two side shots, and guys, I'm not jumping on the bandwagon here of Nathan Diasha, just because he's, you know, being respected now because of the, the crap that he had to go through. Go look, I I made a video, who I think is going to be the next Mr. Olympia champion. I made this a year, maybe two years ago. The first gentleman that I selected is this guy right here, Big Nathan Diasha. A very impressive looking athlete for sure, to say the least. And that was a clip from the actual video. Nathan was the very first guy that I put on the list. There was only like four guys that I put there, and Nathan was the first. And I gotta apologize, guys. My voice was so exaggerated back then. But anyway, on with the judging of this. I think muscle for muscle. Now, structurally, structurally, Sergio is a little bit taller. Now, you can see the maybe Sergio even standing a little bit taller in this one. You can see his far lag. Structurally, he is... Probably defeating Nathan Diasha, but I think Nathan's muscle for muscle, he's beating Sergio. And on a slightly smaller frame, you come out looking thicker, you come out looking bigger. Nathan Diasha, as far as pecs are concerned, some of the best. Some of the best, I'm here to tell you. This guy's got a, a bright future. Go to the first of the two back shots and... Get a, I'm sure the the officers in question, and I don't want to drag this out, guys, but I'm sure the officers in question have a good look at his, his back because that's where they like to attack, from behind. No good, cold-blooded cowards give cops a bad name, too, because they're not all bad. Just those sons of guns. Anyway, Back, look at the back of Nathan Diasha. And one of the reasons why I do believe that, or I did believe, hey, it could still happen, believe that Nathan Diasha will someday become a Mr. Olympia champion. Now, Sergio, on uh, if you're going to jump on his bandwagon, and why not? Hey, the guy's fantastic. Look at the glutes. He's huge. He's dry. He did his homework here at the Arnold's Classics. 
I'm here to tell you. Rear double bicep. Now, Sergio Oliva, look at his back in this shot. With those delts, displayed those arms very well. Little skimpy on the lat insertions. But, I mean, we're talking about Phil Heath's. The, the Kai Greens, the best of all time, we're, we're judging that against. I mean, as far as the average bodybuilder, this is a world-class back development. And ditto for Nathan Diasha. I was a little more impressed with Nathan's rear lat spread, but hey, this rear double by, both of these gentlemen could be doing battle against uh, the best of the best of them. So it's close in this shot. Go to the ab and thigh, and for some reason, very difficult to find a, a pitcher of Sergio Oliva Jr. hitting the ab and thigh. This is an older pitcher, I believe, from the New York Pro, and hey, he snaps a good pose. It looks fantastic. And once again, ditto with Nathan Diasha. This is actually a very underrated ab and thigh pose. And if you've never seen Nathan Diasha's repertoire of poses, I'm telling you right now, guys, when I say that the man could be Olympia champion someday, I didn't pick just a random bodybuilder. I mean, he, he's definitely far away from being a nobody. He's fantastic, he's big, he's thick, he's striated, and he can pull off a nice aesthetic pose like this. Finish this one off. A couple of most musculars here. Now, Sergio, I might I, I might have sized these ones a little bit different. I think Sergio, he's bending quite substantially at the knees. But hey, whatever. He, he is a little bit more smooth. A little too smooth, monsoon. That was from... Uh, the ultimate pose down, Gorilla Monsoon, talking to Jesse the Body Ventura. <laughs> the ultimate pose down, Ultimate Warrior versus Ravishing Rick Rude. I'm telling you right now, guys, watch it. Little too smooth, Monsoon. I thought he said too smooth, Gorilla. He says too, too smooth, Monsoon. But anyway, get your facts straight. Here's, I guess, a crab position, most muscular. And again, I was saying that because this exemplifies what I mean. A little too smooth is Sergio Oliva Jr., and I'm not saying he didn't do his homework. He was probably the best conditioned man out there on the Arnold's Classics. But Nathan Diasha wasn't out there. You see the striations and the muscle separation on that, Brett? That is fantastic. This guy, I'm telling you right now, sky is the limit. And he's beginning with a victory over Sergio Oliva Jr. That's right, guys. He is your winner of this matchup, Nathan Diasha. And like I said... I was going to do a bunch of matchups featuring Nathan Diasha anyway. And no, it won't raise my ratings. It won't, because I do matches with Big Rammy, Phil Heath, things of that nature. That automatically gets a lot of clicks. And YouTube, definitely, they're probably not going to push out Nathan Diasha at this point in time, if you know what I mean. But hey, I can push his name out there, and I'm going to. And you guys, I'm sure, will, will tune in. Hit thumbs up on the video, guys. That's first of four fan-requested Friday matchups. Have a great day.